Hey everybody, it's Craig Becky here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you a really cool field monitor app that you can use on an iPod or an iPad or an iPhone, and it works with Panasonic and Sony cameras. All right, let's get started. All right, so I'm filming this on the Panasonic GH5. This works with Panasonic cameras as well as Sony cameras. Now, the problem I have with my setup here is where my camera is on a tripod, I can't reach it from where I'm sitting, so I can't turn it on and off, I can't adjust any exposure settings, I can't adjust the focus, I use manual focus with the GH5. So what I would normally do was put something where I'm sitting, I would focus on it, then I would sit down, and there's just hassles with that. So with this app, I can also adjust all of these things from where I'm sitting. Now there is a Panasonic app, but I find the screen very small. Now with this, it's full screen and I could move around some of the scopes. I'll show you more about the scopes as we progress through this video. So let me just show you some of the features. So we'll switch to the view of the app. Now you can see here, I can switch my aperture, I can switch my shutter speed, my ISO, I can switch my white balance, and then I can drag the focus point just moving my finger. So right here, I'm moving it to the background, and then if I wanna move it back, I can just move it to my eye, and you can see right there, it's on my eye. So I can change my focus points on the fly with this app. So you can see how useful this would be too if you had, say, two operators. You had somebody with a gimbal and a camera and someone following around and just moving the focus point everywhere if you're using manual focus. That way you can be sure that what you want in focus is. Now the exposure settings, they're great, but look at this waveform monitor. I can just drag and drop this with my hand. Now I just move my focus point, so let me move that back. So let me just shrink that, but you can see you can move that around wherever you want. I'll just move that over there. I'll move the focus point back to my eye, make sure I'm in focus. But I can drag this and make it bigger. And then if I click here, you can see we have some different options. So I can use a waveform monitor. I can use a vector scope. I can enable a histogram. I prefer the waveform monitor. And you can see we can get a really good look at that. Now if I just hit the X there, that'll just move out. And you can see here, this is great for getting exposure with skin tones. And you could really get a good view from it wherever you're sitting, or like I said, if you've got this on a gimbal and you're controlling that as well. So you've got your waveform monitor, you've got your vector scope, you got your histogram. Now I want to show you something else too. You can also have marks, so you can have a grid on your screen, and you can also see different things. So there's a peaking feature on this, so you can increase the intensity of that so that you can be sure of what's happening as far as what's in focus. Now you also have a squeeze ratio, and this sort of emulates what it would look like if you had an anamorphic look. And then you've got aspect ratios down here at the bottom as well. Now also too, there's other features on this that I like, and I'll show you that in a second. Now we have LUTs as well on this. So if you're shooting in V-Log L, or if you're shooting with the Sony Log, you can import those LUTs so that when you look at your monitor on the iPhone or the iPad, that it looks like it should. So that's a really cool feature as well. So I'm just gonna hit that as well and show you this. Now you can also see there's focus assist, scopes, false color, LUTs, and then you just click on that X and that gets rid of it there. And you can see here too, there's also false color and you can adjust the intensity of that with the app. So overall, I think it's pretty handy if you wanna just sit at your desk and make sure that you're in focus for something like a YouTuber or with the second application I said, if you've got someone on a gimbal and you wanna sort of pull focus, but you can do it with an app. So those are a couple things that I really like about this. And again, like I said, I can adjust my exposure. So here we are darkening down the image as I click on this. And then again, we can go back and we can brighten up the image. Now there's also zebras on here too, so I can see when it's overexposed. Now I know all these features are on the GH5, but having it on a bigger screen, now especially if you had this on an iPad, you could really see a lot better than if you were using just the little monitor on the GH5, as well as having this portability. So that's what I think is pretty cool about this app. Now it is a paid app. I remember hearing about this a while back and thinking, I don't wanna pay for that, but I finally, took the plunge. Now, this is not a sponsored video. I don't get any commissions from mentioning this app. I just want you to know about it. Check it out. It's called The Field Monitor. I'll put a link below in the description. And like I said, this isn't a sponsored video. I don't get paid for this video, but I just thought you should be aware of this. It's better than the free Panasonic image app, in my opinion. If you're also using a Sony camera, this could be helpful for you. So let me go over some of the different cameras this works on. I'll have it pop up on the screen as well so you can see. So this is a link to their website. And you can see here, here's a listing of the cameras. So it works with the Panasonic Lumix camera DC and DMC series, the Sony A6500, A7S2, A7R2, 
and the A7 III, A7R2, A9, and A99. But also, too, I recommend that you check out this website. Make sure that your camera is compatible before you download this app. Anyway, if you have any comments or questions about this app, let me know in the comments section below. If you're new to the channel, I come out with new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notification so you'll get updates every time I release a new video. All right, give me a thumbs up for this video if you found it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.